A pregnant Nightdale woman's life turned upside down on a recent trip to Georgia. She was visiting to pick up baby supplies. Instead, she will be coming home with a baby in her arms. WRO's Eric Miller joining us live from UNC Rex Hospital with the incredible story. Eric, even more remarkable is where the baby was born. Gerald, Lena, Abby Wiseman's daughter was supposed to be born right here, UNC Rex, in November. Instead, her firstborn had some other ideas. Every baby is a miracle, and sometimes those miracles will surprise you. I, I, still, I still can't believe it. Abby Wiseman was visiting her best friend's house in Monroe County, Georgia, when her water broke three months early. And at first, I was like, no, it didn't. It did. Wiseman headed straight to the car with best friend Courtney in the driver's seat. We get about half a mile down the road, still in her neighborhood, and I said, Courtney, you have you have got to throw this car in park. She's coming. Moments later, Abby's miracle arrived. She was a pound 10 um, and 13 inches long. But Abby was going to need a second miracle to keep baby Luna breathing. Monroe County EMS showed up and um, loaded us all up, and that was it. Um, they saved her life. None of their breathing equipment to secure an airway was small enough for her. So Christina, the Captain Christina, um, used the Ambu bag for 30 minutes, um, keeping her keeping her lungs uh, breathing and open. Now, three weeks later, mother and baby are doing just fine. They're talking about taking her off the ventilator onto the next step. Thankful this miracle had so many helping hands. Yeah, that, wonderful to hear that they're doing okay. Now, Abby and her husband, Josh, may be stuck there for quite a while. Get this, as late as November, that original due date, before they can bring Luda home, simply because she is so fragile. Premature babies need so much care. Still so happy that they're doing all right. Back Absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Surprise, surprise. Baby had her own ideas, you said. Thank you very much, Eric.